All right, so what I'm going to show you guys today is how to hook up a Nest power connector for your Nest thermostat to a Taco zone valve. This is a three wire Taco zone valve. Now, before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know that if you're just doing one Nest thermostat, this arrangement with the power connector should work. Um, but if you're trying to hook up multiple thermostats, this probably isn't going to work. You might need an external transformer or rib relays. I have ordered a rib relay. I should be getting it tomorrow. So if that's your situation, I'm going to be making that video for you. But for now, let's get into this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the power off and we're going to look at our Nest thermostat where the connection is made to the R terminal, whatever color that wire is, it's usually red. And we're going to follow that down to the zone valve area. And we should find that red wire from our thermostat connected to another bundle of red wires. Now you're going to see wires going up to other R terminals and other thermostats. So in this example right here, I have two zones. Um, so we have the red wire from our nest and the red wire from our other thermostat coming together in a bundle. And that is our 24 volt source of power. There's going to be another red wire in there that's going to go all the way back to the load on your transformer. So this is a 24 volt source that our thermostat is going to run off of. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the wire going up to the R terminal on our Nest thermostat. We're going to take that, we're going to put it aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our power connector and we are going to take the R wire on the right side of the power connector. So that should be the white R wire. And we're going to hook it up to that same bundle we just disconnected our red thermostat wire from. So what this basically does is this is going to send the 24 volts to the power connector instead of straight up to the thermostat. Once we have that connection made, we're going to take the red wire from our thermostat and we're going to hook that up to the other R wire on our power connector. That will be the gray R wire right here. And we're going to hook that straight up to the red wire going up to the R terminal on our Nest thermostat. Now, once that connection is made, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Taco zone valve and we're going to go at the top terminal there, that terminal number one. That is our power terminal that actually runs the zone valve. And we will find that the white wire from your W terminal on your Nest thermostat is going to run down to that number one terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that wire going to that number one terminal. We're going to take that off. We'll put it aside. And we're going to take the W wire from the right side of our power connector and we're going to put it on that number one terminal instead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that white wire from the Nest Thermostat's W terminal and we're going to connect that to the W wire on the left side of our power connector. So that would be the gray W wire. So basically when our thermostat's calling for heat, it's going to take the 24 volts from the transformer up to the R terminal. It's going to send it over to the W terminal and that 24 volts will follow that wire down to the number one terminal. So all we got left now is our common wire on our power connector. And we're going to hook that up to wherever the wires are coming together off of this number two terminal. So that number two terminal is the common for our power head circuit. So we don't want to disconnect any wires along this, uh, this circuit of wires here. We want to make sure everything stays connected. So all we're doing is we're adding our common from the power connector to wherever we can along that circuit. And that common is going to go back to the common on our transformer. Now we don't need to worry about this number three terminal. That's part of your burner circuit. The number two terminal is actually part of your circuit as well, but that's why we don't want to disconnect any of those wires. Now I'm going to turn the power on and put the face plate back on and we're going to power this thing up. There we go. Our thermostat is on and it's functional. No power issues. So we set it to heat and it will activate the zone valve. Now I know you guys can't tell, but I can tell because I can already smell this power head heating up. So we're good. And that is how you do it.